Good morning, everyone, and welcome to First Five. I'm Pastor Steve, and my goal today is to help you get your day off to a great start. And the way we do that is by spending a little time together in the Word of God and in prayer. And so, if you've been with us before, you know that every morning we read one chapter of Scripture together. And we are currently working our way through Paul's first letter to Timothy. And so today, we are in 1 Timothy chapter 4. And so my goal, my hope for you would be that together we would read the whole of 1 Timothy chapter 4 today. But for the point of our lesson, we're going to look at just a portion of that. We'll be looking at verses 11 through 16. And so if you have a Bible handy, or if you want to pull it up on your phone, I invite you to join me in 1 Timothy chapter 4, beginning in verse 11. Command and teach these things. Don't, look, don't let anyone look down on you because, of, because you are young. But set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. Until I come, devote yourself to the public reading of Scripture and to preaching and to teaching. Do not neglect your gifts, which was given to you through prophecy when the body of elders laid their hands upon you. Be diligent in these matters. Give yourself wholly to them so that everyone may see your progress. Watch your life and your doctrine closely. Persevere in them, because if you do, you will save both yourself and your hearers. In this passage, Paul speaks to something that was of an area of concern for Timothy when he says, don't let anyone look down on you because of your youth. If you've been with me, you may have heard me say that Timothy was Paul's young protege. He was someone that Paul had raised up like a spiritual son and he had... Uh, taught Timothy how to lead a church, and he had placed him as the pastor in the church of Ephesus, right? And so he was a very young leader. And so I think there was always some sensitivity around that, some concern around that. And Paul says, listen, don't let anyone look down on you because you're young. Paul is essentially saying to him, your age doesn't really matter. What matters is how you live. And then he goes on to give Timothy something. I never noticed this before. I've read this before. I never really caught it the way it spoke to me this morning. He gives Timothy this great sort of five-point teaching on how to set an example for all believers, regardless of age. Right? He says, do these five things. Be a good example in these five areas. And it won't matter if you are young or old because you will be living the good witness. I want to read this to you one more time. Listen carefully to verse 12. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. So, did you catch those five areas? This is really, what Paul is giving him here is really a very comprehensive way to look at our example and our witness, right? First, he says, set an example in speech. Listen, words matter, right? It is important as Christ followers that we are conscious of what we say and how we say it. We must be careful and wise with our words. In fact, not only our words, but with our tone, right? And how we come across to people. Those things matter. So he says, set a good example in your speech. And then the second thing he says is also in your conduct, right? Because even if words convey the right things, our behavior, our conduct, still has to reinforce that. This is what it means to have integrity, basically, is when our words and our actions match up. There's a consistency to them. This is also an essential 
part of our witness. Our speech and our behavior, our words and our deeds. Thirdly, he says, in love. Love is at the very heart of what it means to be a follower of Christ. Saying and doing the right things are important, but they must also be done with the right heart. Everything we do should be motivated out of our love for God and our love for others. And so Paul says, set an example in your love for people. Fourth, he says we must set an example in faith. If we want others to have faith in Christ, then we must walk by faith. We must exemplify faith. We must be trusting God for all aspects of our lives. We must be standing firm on the truth of the gospel and have faith in Christ. And so we have to provide this example of, of a living faith that is true and real and meaningful to us. It's a part of our essential witness. And then finally, Paul says, set an example in purity. In other words, live a pure life, not being led by lusts of the flesh, but by the Spirit. Paul is clear with Timothy that regardless of his chronological age, if he can set a good example in these five areas, he will be a powerful witness and example to all those that he leads. I think that is a really good set of attributes for us to strive for. Be an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. Would you join me in prayer? Lord, I thank you for this teaching from Paul to Timothy. And Timothy was concerned at times about his youthfulness and whether people would really take him seriously, whether he could really lead the church well because he was so young. But Paul gave him wise words. He says to him, you know, if you can set an example in your words and in your deeds and your love and your faith, and if you can set an example in the way you live a pure life, then it won't matter whether we're young or old, whether we've been a long-time Christian or a relatively new convert. These are the things that really shine forth the maturity of our faith. And so help all of us, Lord, to apply this five-point litmus test to our own life and our own witness. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, everyone, have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you tomorrow. God bless.